you can't prepare for it. You're not uh, thinking about it. Uh, uh, it's one of the worst feelings in the in the world to ad address, you know, your locker room after a, a game, you know, like this. Um, when it ends, it, it ends in a in a thud, you know. And uh, I have just so much incredible respect and love, you know, for everybody in the locker room and and what everybody gave to this team, you know, and uh, we had such a, a memorable season and postseason. Uh, it felt like five seasons in one, um, all the different chapters um, and adversity that this group was able to overcome. Uh, it was a really a, a fun group to be around. Uh, it was a hard-edged group, you know, um, but it's all the qualities that, that we love, the good, the bad, and everything in between. And it's heartbreaking, you know, when it ends like this. Um, you know, and I, uh, you, you certainly have to credit the Boston Celtics organization and their team and their coaching staff. Ime just did a tremendous job, you know, this year building on what they've done the last uh, six, seven years. Um, you know, and they've they've probably done it the way that it's supposed to happen uh, in this league. You know, you you uh, build a team and you have uh, frustrating losses. Uh, you stay together for you know, keep your core together, uh, keep your culture together, and then you you know eventually find a breakthrough. Um, you know, we tip our hats off, off to them. They are they are a heck of a basketball team. They really can defend uh, at a high level. They're competitive. Um, you know, and they have uh, two guys that. Uh, you know, are, are tremendous, but their role players uh, really fill in the gaps. They complement each other so well. Smart was uh, was terrific uh, tonight. So we tip our hats off to them. Uh, this was all about competition, and, um, you know, we faced a, a team that kind of matches uh, all of the, the best qualities of, of what we do. Um, it was fitting that it would probably come down to that last possession. Um, while I continue to ramble, uh, you know, I... Uh, I thought it would have been an incredible storyline, you know, Jimmy to, to pull up and hit that three. And I thought it was, I love that about Jimmy. That was the right, the right look. Um, and I just thought as it was leaving his hand, I thought for sure that was going down. Good, clean look. It's definitely better than anything um, that we could have designed. And uh, it's just a shame that it didn't end that way. But, uh, you know, I, I, I can't compliment uh, Boston enough. Um, They've got. They've gone through the fire, um, and they earned that right to go to the finals. Have you seen the replay yet on the Max Struess overturn three? And what was your reaction? I did. Found out. Uh, or after I, 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 I was in shock. I was asking, uh, you know, Quinny about that. Um, the fact that it happened, you know, three to four, five minutes later in game time, uh, that that does change the context of of how you're playing. Um, you know, we were starting to gain some momentum, and you feel like it's a you know seven eight point game, and all of a sudden it's a thirteen point game. You're looking up, and there's no exp explanation for it other than it's you know gone back to uh, uh, you know to the league offices. Uh, you feel like if it if it happens like that, it should happen uh, immediately, and then you can you can adjust accordingly. Um, you know, but look, uh, that's not the reason we lost. Uh, you know, we still had uh, plenty of opportunities. We just couldn't get control of the game. A lot of that was uh, Boston, um, but you know, we we didn't stop grinding and and we gave our shot ourselves a shot at it. Um, you know, at the end, uh, you know, we just couldn't make enough plays during the course of the game. Uh, it felt like most of the game we were grinding from an eight to ten point deficit. Jimmy played every second tonight. Was that the plan entering? It wasn't, but I, I was going into this like, you know, by any means necessary. Uh, I have so much freaking respect for the guys in the locker room, and and I'm Boston was going through their stuff too. You know, this is one of the most admirable, honorable series that I've been a part of. Guys that were clearly not anywhere near close to a hundred percent on both sides. Um, you have guys staggering around out there, and then, you know, there's a loose ball, and instincts just take over. Uh, it was extremely physical, um, really w hard played, 
uh, well played uh, at times, and because both teams, you know, are so effective defensively, sometimes it was probably ugly, <laughs> you know, to the uh, average fan, but to us, it's beauty. Um, but yeah, you know, we had to play uh, Jimmy and Bam. We couldn't we couldn't afford to take them off the court tonight. And with PJ, you went out early in the third quarter. Was it, was there an injury there that kind of kept them from playing the rest of the night? Yeah, look, I, I don't want to like speak uh, on behalf of our players, but Tucker is he is a Miami Heat guy. You know, I, I would say for the majority of this playoff run, um, he's just been willing himself to get out there uh, and do what he does best. I, I, I marvel. You know, there's, there's probably five or six times where the trainers uh, told me, like, I don't think Tuck's going tonight. Um, and I joked about it with you guys all the time. Like, I, I couldn't ask him how he was doing, and I couldn't ask the trainers in front of him how he was doing. Uh, he just has an incredible will inside of him to overcome anything that he may be feeling. Um, I think if this series, you know, could have been like at some point where, where we could have had two days in between somewhere, you know, or, you know, maybe a, a couple of those gaps, I think guys could have recovered a little bit more. But it, both teams were dealing with it, um, you know, and, and we were dealing with, you know, quite a few things as well. well it's not an excuse. We got beat, you know. Um, and I, I, I love the fact that our guys were putting themselves out there. You know, Kyle, uh, whatever minutes he played tonight was way more minutes than he should have, <laughs> have played. Uh, and the same thing for Tyler. Tyler just absolutely made himself available when he really didn't have any practices. And uh, if it was been the regular season, there's no chance he would have played. Bo, well, you've coached several historically great players. How would you sum up the series that Jimmy just put together? Yeah, it's one of one of the great performances, you know, of an of an elite competitor. Uh, you know, Jimmy uh, has this competitive will uh, that is so unique. That's a talent unto itself. Uh, there's a lot of basketball players uh, in this league. Jimmy is a is a a great basketball player. Um, he is a world class competitor, and he knows how to win basketball games. Uh, and that's a talent. And for young players coming into the league, I think that that's a missing talent or skill. Uh, it becomes about um, all the other skills, um, but that's what makes Jimmy so unique um, as a. As a world-class player, uh, he just he just knows how to compete to win and to compete to not let you lose. Um, that's an incredible DNA that he has uh, inside of him. And just to follow up on the Mac shot, you guys don't make excuses on the whole, but would you like to see moving forward the league look at the policy where somebody in New York can overturn a play three, four min minutes after it happened? I'm sure they're going to look at that, and we'll probably be the case study for it. I, I'm okay with that if it happens, uh, you know, the way it used to. You know, they, they would look at it, uh, you know, at the next foul or break and, and look at it and, and, and notice it. But it was probably 10 minutes of real time. Somebody check on that. I'm, I'm not crying or whining. Come on. We got beat. This was two competitive teams going at it. We had a crack at it at the end, even as, as uneven as the game seemed. We had a crack at it. Our guys are never going to, like, you know, not think that we have a chance at it. But that was so unusual, you know, for us to be grinding and, and starting to get some momentum. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh, hey, by the way, you know, take away that three and with no explanation. That, that's just the human side of it. It's not the complaining side of it. Like, who knows if that would have changed anything uh, anyway. Eric, as you said, if this was in the regular season, no chance Tyler would have played. Was it a tough call for you uh, not playing him in, in, in the second half, or was it clear cut because he was limited? I mean, we're making like I felt like this series. I was making decisions that I've never made before in my in my career. I, but uh, you know, I've had that before also. You know, um, you know, during those championship runs, we had guys that day after the season were getting surgeries. <laughs> you know, so it was very similar. 
uh, this, uh, these last two series, uh, it was a, a daily meeting with the training staff to, to, to get an inventory of where guys were. Um, but these guys were, were um, so committed, you know, to the, to the challenge that uh, they were willing to do whatever it took to get themselves out there and compete and, and really compete at a high level. Um, you know, physically, uh, it just shows you the mental uh, toughness of, of the guys in the locker room.